Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to merge other math files into your project. Merge is going to allow us to load objects from other math files or to combine different scenes. Go to File menu, Import, and then select Merge. After selecting the file to merge, we are going to see the Merge dialog. On the left side of the panel, we can see all the objects in the math file we are merging. We can use the input field to search the objects by name. This is going to automatically select all the objects that match it. We can also left click to select them individually. Use Ctrl plus click to select a few or Shift plus click to select multiple objects. Below this, we have the option to select all the objects, none of the objects or to invert the selection. In this section, we can also select the influences of the object. This is a great option when we are merging objects that require other elements. For example, a forest pack or chaos scatter. The net check boxes allow us to choose how things are displayed and selected in the object selection section. For example, we can enable or disable the subtree. When we disable it, all the objects will be listed using the sort section options, alphabetical, by type, and by color. The select subtree will select all the objects in the selected subtree automatically. The display influences work in a similar way. When it's enabled, the influences will be highlighted blue, but we still need to select them. This is where the next option, Select Influences, can help us to quickly select all the influences for the object selected. And Match Layers by Name and Parent is going to place the merged object into the corresponding layer, or create a new one according to the source file if there is no matching layer in the scene. And the last section is a filter by list types. With this, we can select only a certain type of objects like lights, cameras, or geometry. Once you have selected the objects to merge, click the OK button. If we don't have any duplicate names or materials, the objects are going to be merged into the scene without any other input. Everything is going to be placed in the same position as the source file and is going to have the same materials that were assigned before. But what happens if we merge objects with the same name and materials as other objects that we have in the scene? In this case, we're going to have a few additional options. The first one is the duplicate object by name. With the merge button, we can merge the objects with the same name or we can change the name using the input field. We also have the option to apply the selection to all duplicate objects, but this doesn't work if we are changing the names manually. And because of this, I don't recommend this option if you're going to merge multiple files. A skip is just going to skip the object from merging it. Delete all will delete the object in the scene and keep only the object we're merging. And the last option, auto rename, is going to automatically add a number at the end of the object name. And this is the option I recommend when you're merging a lot of objects. The only thing you need to be careful of is that you may need to manually remove any duplicate objects. After we finish with that screen, we will get the duplicate material name. We can rename the materials manually from the input field and then click the Rename Merge Material button. If we want to use the Merge Material instead of the one in the scene, we can click the Use Merge Material button or we can also use the Scene Material from the Merge Objects by clicking the Use Scene Material. If you're not sure, you can always use the Auto Rename Merge Material with the Apply to All Duplicates. And after this, we can see that our duplicate objects and materials have been merged with the selected options. This is how quickly and fast you can merge objects into just 3ds Max scenes. You can use this to add new assets or even to merge a problematic project into a new and clean scene. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.